Hello everybody, this is a little tutorial on how to create uh, bitmap images that you can display on a Nokia LCD using the Adafruit library. So what we're going to need are three applications. We're going to need a editor, um, like I use here uh, Photoshop Elements to uh, take the original artwork and you're going to use uh, the software called paint from that is comes with windows to save it as a bitmap i find that it's easier to use than actually the elements uh, to create bitmaps because they're not that great at that and i've got this little piece of software that you can download uh, from the link in my blog called bitmap encoder so the biggest difference between the adafruit library and um uh, all the other libraries for the Nokia display is that the Adafruit library uses binary instead of hex to store the um the the the, the memory array for the bitmap and if you don't know what that means uh, learn more about how the library works because that's not the scope of this little demonstration so here I got like weather icons. I selected a weather icon. Always, if you're going to have like a sheet of icons, always select um, the biggest one first because it, it makes it a lot easier to display if every little icon that you're going to display has the same size. Uh, so what we do is we copy it, edit, copy. We go over to here uh, where we then in paint, we start a new document from clipboard we paste it there it is we deselect it and we go to image resize and you make it the size that you want I know because I played a little bit that I like them for that display to be uh, roughly this size and you can find the properties here so roughly 26 by 28 that's a nice size for the display um, what you do then is okay we save it under a name and then when you've saved it under that name what you do is you go to this application over here you open it up it's called um, a test cloud that's what I saved it as you open it up and now here you got the binary encoding uh, instead of the hex encoding uh, and what we're interested in is this this part here all these b zero zero zeros and zero ones and and if you see you can actually sort of see the cloud there so what you do next is here you see actually the size of the image and it's good to notate that because you're going to need that in the uh, arduino sketch so what you would do is you would basically highlight this and then copy it Control C, then you go to this is basically the test sketch, and over here you actually see um, the binary. So what you would do is you would duplicate this. So here you got that, and then what we need is this part here, and you need an opening bracket. You change this to whatever you want it to be. It's test cloud. That's what we wanted it. And now you can call that. There you go. I'm not going into how all the how the what the functionality is of the uh, uh, library because that you can look up on the uh, Adafruit website. They have a really good tutorial. I'll put a link of that tutorial in. Uh, my blog so you can find it. I hope this was helpful. Have a nice day. Talk to you guys later. Bye now.